Okay, my friends, this is it. We're talking about brush borders, and I'm not talking about the Wild West. I am talking about the inside of your intestinal tract. He said, well, what does that got to do? Brush border, what is that all about? It's a very extremely fine layer of, of, of fibers that creates a barrier between the gooey stuff in your body that is infested with nastiness and then your pristine cellular internal matrix. So, what does that mean? And how does that happen? And what does it look like? And let's take a look. Let's read, first of all. This striated border of brush border membrane. Membranes coat everything in your body, every organ, every cell even has a membrane. And it is what's called a mucosal layer. And what is mucosal? Mucus. You know what those are. It comes out of your nose and everywhere else. It is a slime that isolates one side of the slime from the other. There's all kind of terms, hydrophilic, hydrophobic, all this kind of stuff. Don't worry about it. Slime is the mucus. And the mucosal layer, which I will show you in uno momento, is the precipitator of that mucus. Now, I am not certain whether it exudes it on its own, which I do suspect, or it is a chemical reaction to something it exudes. But regardless of that, it makes slime on request. Right? On request. It doesn't, I don't look, it's just slitting on our slime and all the time, gushing out slime. No. But it might be able to, just like your saliva, you eat something, you're squirting it out. I mean, literally squirts. It's your mouth. You don't even probably realize that. Yeah. You look under the tongue in some of these shots, you can see it looks like a snake squirting out stuff. I'm, I'm not kidding. No. So, what do we got from here? This this is a micro villi. What's, what does that mean? It's a bazillion little th things going up like that. Covered surface of simple... All these things. See, they, they make it all complicated. They're simple, this and that. Well, it's not that simple when you throw all these words in there. All it is is a bunch of little fibers sticking up in the air. No. There's approximately 100 nanometers in diameter, and their length varies from 100 to 2,000 nanometers. Nanometers is a billionth of a meter, all right? So, in length, 100 billionths in diameter, 100 billionths in diameter of a, nan of, of a meter. No, and uh, up to 2,000 nanometers in length. So they're little tiny filaments. I'm going to show them to you very carefully because they have pretty, pretty good shots of it. Because individual microvilli are so small and are tightly packed in the brush border, individual microvilli can only be resolved using electron microscopes. Those are extremely highly detailed and right down to the molecular level. So, with a light microscope, they can usually only be seen collectively as a fuzzy fringe at the surface of the epithelium. So, let's just cut to the chase here. The brush border is found in the small intestine tract. This is where absorption takes place. And this is also where there is a ton of extremely toxic chemistry. Now, the microvilli constitute the brush border have enzymes. What are enzymes? Enzymes are extremely reactive molecules. They are designed by bacteria. And I'm going to tell you right now, if anybody can put up a defense to this, I want to hear it. Because these bacteria live in specified districts. Specified bacteria live there. Specific enzymes they create. Specific conditions they overcome, specific molecules they, they protect you from. And, in, in, and also the, 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 the body chemistry absorbs things and they have to come through that region that also has to be protected. Absolutely elegant. Now, so here we are at the small intestine. All that goop is coming through you. You got to sort it all out. You got to get this. You got to get that. You got to keep this out. You got to get that in. All right, then you got the kidneys, 
Here, another brush border, useful in distinguishing proximal tubules. Forget all that big. Large intestine, also microvilli surface, endocrisis. The brush border morphology increases the cell surface area. It, it, there is so much surface area in this, it's something like a football field inside your small intestine. I think it's, it's, it's absolutely amazing. In intestinal cells, the microvilli are referred to as a striated border. Striations are layers and are protoplasmic extensions contrary to villi, which are submucosal folds. They're on the other side of the mucus, and they're folded brush borders, while in the kidneys, microvilli are referred to as brush borders. All they are is these regions protect you, and here they are, right here. Right? So you look at it and say, ooh, that's a nice brush border. No, it isn't. <laughs> that's the mucosal membrane. These are the mucos mucosal cells. Let's see if we can find the brush border. Click. Still no brush border. Click. There's the brush border. There's the brush border. I think I can't go any bigger. It's, that's as big as you can get. Now, I mean, there is a lot of specificity here. There is just amazing specificity. And in between these, these channels, the goop goes in there. And the microvilli in these brush borders protect you and isolate you from that chemistry. And they know what's coming. They know the chemistry they're dealing with. They know what the, the enzymes they have to put out. They know, these are, these are chemists. These bacteria are literally chemists living in your body. 